Alhamra or Alhamra in Arabic simply means the red. It is a Moorish palace built upon a hill called Sabika just outside the city of Granada in Andalusia, Spain. The dynasty which built it between 1230 and 1492 is called the Nasrids. Muhammad II and the third started building the area which is known as Al Qasba or the fortress, which already existed in 900 onwards but they fortified it. The person who started building the palace was called Alhamr and from there it has driven its name Alhambra. Three basic elements were kept in mind. Water, the greenery and the aromatic smells. Water is essential for life wherever you are. Greenery is good for your eyes and therefore good for your heart. And aromatic smells are the one which affect us consciously or subconsciously when we are feeling good or bad. <laughs> Alhambra is divided into three parts Al Qasba, General Life, and the Palace itself. As said earlier, Al Qasba is the fortress. General Life is a series of beautiful gardens, while Alhambra is the palace itself. Over here we have Sierra Nevada from where Alhambra gets its fresh water. These are the servant quarters built outside the palace of Charles V who loved Alhambra so much that he wanted to live close to it. So he built a palace of its own in the Renaissance style. It was built after 1492. <laughs> The city of Granada is a very beautiful city. It's a pleasure to look at it wherever you stand in Alhambra. It is built in several layers. This is the old part of Granada. <laughs>
a very beautiful view of Granada from the windows of a corridor which lies in general life. It is next to the room of two sisters. did not use any precious stones or jewels nor precious metals to decorate their buildings. Instead they relied upon the natural beauty of stones, the technique of stone cutting and angularity to use natural light to illuminate the place. From general life, we enter the Palace of Alhambra. This is the famous garden of metals, which has a pool in the middle, which reflects the front of the palace on a sunny day. Next to the middle garden is the courtyard of lions where 12 lions sport a fountain. This is the residential area for the concubines and the sultanas of Sultan. Each of them had a room of their own, a simple room because these people slept on the floor, they had no beds, but it was very comfortable. This is the last Sultan who ruled Granada before the Muslims left Spain forever and this is his chamber. Magnificent carving and stonework. If the Sultan were to return today, that is what he would see of Granada from his window. People dining and feasting down below. This is one of the famous aromatic gardens which has herbs, bushes and trees from many different countries. But the tree that associate with Spain more than any other tree is the tree of oranges or clementines. They are found everywhere in the courtyards, countryside, in the streets, in large towns and of course here 
in Alhambra as well. A journey home from such a place to me always feel like as if I'm returning from a funeral where I leave a very close friend which I do not want to leave. But that's how life is. But we are beautiful memories from Alhambra. Here is the city of Granada from the windows. Intricate and beautiful structures within the palace. And of course the fragrant aromatic garden. and then a beautiful pavement to walk back home very slowly.